There ain't no manual that tells you how to become a stepmom. This is a scary scenario to walk into. Like, there's so many dynamics that can throw you off. Like, are the kids going to like me? Do the kids want me here? Before she thinks about me, but the kids going to like me. Do they want me here? Am I, um, am I going to get on with them? Am I going to be compared to their mum all the time? Um, am I getting things wrong? What do they like? What do I do when they wake up in the middle of the night? Can I discipline them? How do I discipline them? Is it too far? Is that too little? What would their mum do? Like, there's so much to think about, so many questions. It's not easy, so you almost learn on a job. The whole transition after Rebecca has been a real tough, but also rewarding kind of road. It's great that the kids, they love talking about their mum or hearing stories about her, and that's like a giant step forward. It's Mother's Day this weekend. The children write cards to their mum and their nan. We laminate them so that when they're at the cemetery, they obviously can last longer rather than getting wet and damaged. So I'm actually just laminating them now. Have you written any of these cards? Yeah, I always write a message from me because, after all, I am looking after and bringing up her children with Rio. So this is my one to Rebecca. I say to Rebecca, happy Mother's Day. We are all thinking of you today, especially the children. I wish you were here to see how far they have come. I know, sorry. I don't know why it makes me so sad. I feel like I am grieving for someone that I didn't know. It's really weird because I've taken on the children and Rio's emotion. I wish you were here to see how far they have come. I know you are and would be so proud of them. We are celebrating you today. I hope I'm doing a good job of looking after them for you. It's a bloody hard job, but I wouldn't have it any other way. I'm always thinking of you. Lots of love, Kate. I feel like a failure a lot. And people say, this is Rebecca's house. This is Rebecca's house. Oh, no, no, no. You don't do it like this. That's not how Rebecca likes it. And I think, but I'm not Rebecca. I got it wrong quite a few times. And everyone's like, oh, she can't cook. Rebecca could do this and do this. And I'll be like, oh, I can't. Shall I sit with you? Mm-hmm. I feel like I've been picked on by a lot of close people. I just thought, I just don't know what to do. But I love Rio and I love the kids. I'm never going to be good enough. I need to know that I'm doing the right thing and meet other people so that it can help me with the kids. It's not just about everyone else. If it's us five with strangers, I'll say they're my kids. It's when, like, family go, they're not your kids. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, but... And then I feel bad because Rebecca's yeah. They don't have to even say that, though. But they don't have to say, oh, they're not your kids. It's, it's you more, the, it's more the, the expression, the expression yeah. or the yeah. Yeah. body. Yeah, and then I feel bad, but I do feel like they're my kids. Yeah. I love them like they're my kids. Yeah, you're not lying. As a stepmom and as a newer stepmom, you feel like you're being judged, even if they're not judging you. Look at him, he's like, he's being my shot. <laughs> the five of us, I'm completely myself. And I think we all are ourselves when the five of us are here. Three, two, one, two, go. Oh, go. Go. You get me, oh, it's God. over. The yeah. marriage is off. <laughs> and I think something that they really noticed is when their mum was here, they'd done loads of fun things together. See you, go! And then when, when she passed away, they didn't do any of that. So when I came, we started doing fun things again. And Dad was happy and they were happy and it just felt like a family unit again because I don't think it felt like that for a while. I didn't feel this could happen. I said, I'll never meet anyone. I've said, I'm never going to be happy again. That's what I said. I said all this. And then we're sitting here now and I feel happiest man about. I'm happy again. You feel you've been dealt a terrible hand, and you have, but your luck can change. And from what I've seen, it does happen to other people as well. So be confident that it can happen. It's going to go through rocky times and bad times, but you can come through the other side. Congratulations to Kate and Dad. I love you boys so much, and I'm so happy that we finally reached the wedding day. If you told me four years ago I would have been here, I would have laughed and thought nothing of it. But because I'm here, I'm very happy. And Dad, I'm so glad that you've come so far from what we have been through. To Kate, you are very, very special. You help me with lots of different things, especially when I have a problem and I need to talk to you. Woo!